Hi, Mark Savage here. Welcome to my channel. Today's chat. Okay, I know there's no bike there. However, what am I talking about today? Today we're talking about oil. Now, for motorbikes, I always use quality oil. And I mean the top brand ones. I mean, all right, you know, this is a Shell one. That was for the Ducati. But I always have done. High revving engines, and I often think you need really good oils. But recently, I'm playing with cars. Now, Manol, I think that's how you pronounce it, have an awful lot of range and they're very, very reasonable priced. It always worries me when you're going to use cheap oil. I mean, you know, Happy Shop oils, I said on my moped videos, don't use the 2T crap oils, doesn't work. But with car oil, I often find that it's what you get, you get what you pay for. I've just bought myself an Audi A4, uh, 1.8 TFSI turbo, uh, 2010. I would do a video, but no one likes me doing reviews on cars, so I'm not going to do it. But I've got a lot of work to do on this car. Wheel bearing, uh, service, front caliper was seized, and so on. But meanwhile, I thought I'd buy one of these. Now, I've got several products I've bought recently. This is Manol's Better Range of Energy. This is a 530 weight, which was actually for the car. Now, it says use Kestrel, but I thought I'd try this brand. Then I do antifreeze as well. This is brilliant stuff. Normal temperature range. I bought a load of this recently. Bean wash. This is brilliant. Had a recent, you know, because the weather's nice today. But some really frosty days. And this really worked. It didn't freeze up like the cheap ones. You don't need an awful lot of it as well. A few pennies. For bikes, I use the old white grease. Really good. Just as good as the other brands. And a little bit of silicon spray around the windows and polishing and so on. So that was quite good as well. And recently I used this on my older RT1150. And it was brilliant. Now I did a service on my daughter's BMW. And I used some of this motor doctor stuff. Um, it's supposed to put it in now. Slightly my fault. Engine up to warm temperature. I poured this in, expecting my daughter to go home. She stayed for tea, drove away, didn't really mix that well. And I had to take the camshaft sensor out because it seemed to have glooped all on there. The red light kept coming on, engine light kept coming on. I took that out, cleaned it up, been good as gold since. I think that was more my fault where you're supposed to mix this in and make sure the engine's hot and go for a drive immediately. I think it would have done a lot better. So, jury's out for that one. Now, Moto Flush. Ah, do you know what I've done recently? Like everybody else, you pop them through videos, you're sitting at home, and a couple of them are on... on these, actually. I don't get it. Where you see a video, there's no text, there's no chat, too much of me, and you pour a little bit in a test tube and they heat it up or they put it on a boiler or something, I don't get them because there's no result that I can see. A slight discoloration. Is it any good? I've seen a couple of videos that use different brands, but not this particular brand. So, I've put this in my Audi A4 engine, and we're going to see how it goes. Now, I didn't flush it. So, actually, because it's cheap, you know, I think it worked out, I got... 10 litres of oil for 20 odd quid, 28 pounds, something like that. And that great big one in there, I think it was like 40 quid, that's 20 litres, loads. Now, when it comes to engine oil, I've been cheating and using one of these. A lot of cars now don't have a dipstick, I've got a little plug, and you can use this. It extracts the oil out from that tube. Now, on the Jag video, uh, my recent Jag, I used this, got all of the oil out, put some lovely fresh oil in with a new filter, really well. But the Audi, I used this, and I only got three litres out. And I pushed it, got a smaller tube down there, and I only got three litres. So I was quite panicking that the car had three litres in it, which is really bad, not including the filter. So I put four litres back in there, I tested it, and because I've got them computer things now, it doesn't tell you. I got really worried, I kept saying to the wife about it, who said, go away. <laughs> And I drained another litre out and a bit more. And then I tested it again because you got the engine warm. And it turned out that it was a litre over. So, that's not good. That meant 
that there was a litre too much in there, which means I didn't get all of the oil out. So I need to go back to basics. So what I've got now in my brain, if it takes 4.6 litres in there, including the filter, give or take, um, I put three litres back in there, a litre and a half old oil, it's all mixed together, it's not very good. So, I am going to put some of this in there. So I'm gonna get the engine up to temperature, I'm gonna put this in there, run it for 10 minutes with this in there, I'm gonna jack it up, take the sump off, drain all the oil out. I've seen a video with this. A guy has a lawnmower, and he shows it all carbon build up, changing oil does nothing, puts this in it, and it really does clean it up. So as I've got mixed oil in there, I may as well take it properly out with this in it, pour it in, flush it all out, change the filter, And as I've got two of these anyway, and that's got a litre of what I took out. Listen, that's not very good. I've got to throw that away, really. Um, I drained it out. So I've got a proper five litres in there. I'm going to put the 4.6 with a new filter and do it all again. I am reasonably happy that this will work really well. I'll do the antifreeze as well while I've got the car, because I intend to keep this car. Wheel bearings. Oh! Oh, wheel bearings, you know the old cars, you have to get a press and leave them out. Nowadays, you just replace the whole pit. It looks really, really easy, but obviously you get the nut off in a 19mm hexagon. Now, I will say for Audi, plugs, air filter, oil filter, and the oil, piss easy. It's something, any DIY, lift the bonnet, pull a bit off, and you can do it yourself with minimal tools. Now, BMWs, the little buggers, 2010, my daughter's car. They've got like a star shape now, 14mm star shape for, these, for the spark plugs. Why? Well, you know, ain't broke, don't fix it. They make it bloody hard. And you know yourself, you've only got half the engine you can see. You've got to take the shuttle bit off the back and the pollen filter and other little bits and bobs just to get the actual um, plastic cover off. Then, <laughs> then if you want to get your plugs out, you can't use a normal socket. It's the 14mm star shape, but it's got to have a tilt on it as well. I bought the wrong one. I bought a long one. And you can't get it down there, so you have to have a special tool as well. They just make you pay out, or to be honest with you, I just didn't always to go to the garage. So that's why I'm really quite happy with this Audi, because I'm going to be able to do it myself. So, the jury is out with this. Your thoughts, please, I've got an awful lot of these products. Uh, it's not because I'm cheap and nasty, I just like sometimes using different ones. I mean, I'm not going to pay £50 for an oil, because it's got Super Magnatech in it glues to things and everything else and you see some tests and all the bloody stuff looks the same doesn't it so i'm going to use this give me your thoughts down below and tell me what you think for an audi a4 would you use this in a motorbike well not particularly ones that are made for cars because they're very different i mean i've got that um four tack plus one that says for motorbikes it's semi-synthetic would you use it oh, i don't know i mean if it was a cheap bike I mean, the Ducati Multistrades are just mental bikes, and I really wouldn't want to use that. Have any of you guys used cheap oil in the motorbikes? Now, I had a guy before on the Blackbird I had say, I've always used 1040 car oil. I don't care what they are, my bike one's great. Wet clutch, don't agree. Wouldn't do it, would you? Huh. So, for me, uh, it's not double standards. I just think the motorbike with all the, you know, 10, 12, 1400 bevs you can do on some of them, takes a lot so unless the professionals out there could tell me different i'm going to stick to the posh ones but for my car i change two and a half thousand revs don't go more than three thousand revs anyway i change my oil regularly what do you reckon is this a good idea have any of you tried to use these before and what do you think as i said leave the comments below i need everybody to stay safe covid 19 still out there We're still in lockdown here driving us all mad we've got a beautiful weekend reason why there's not a bike here because I broke my bloody toe. <laughs> it really hurts. Uh, I came down the stairs. Many of you see my recent videos of my dog, who's getting a lot bloody bigger now. Came down the stairs. I went to the right and so did she. And my little toe caught her leg. No damage done to the dog for pet lovers. But my toe went snap. And he heard it. And I was like, that's not right. It kept flipping out. And, and it's still that way after 10 days now. I've taped it together. No sense of going to A&E. I've taped it together. And every time I take the tape, tape off, I go, <laughs> so I think I broke it in two places. Um, and it's not good. It really bloody hurts. So I wasn't going to buy a bike for a little while. I bought myself a car to get back off to work because I'm still going to work because I have to. Hence the bike disappeared. Um, I'm going to get myself another one, but I'm going to drive just for a little while. And I can't use my beautiful truck 
because it does 13 to the gallon <laughs> on on roundabouts and, and much better, well much better 16 to 17 to 18 to the gallon um, so I bought myself this little Audi lovely little template maybe I'll do a video if some of you say yes Mark we really want to see your video of your car <laughs> and then maybe not listen take care of yourselves on the roads in your hair social distancing no one go to Tesco it just pisses me off with this 400 yards and everything else you've got to leave between people and <laughs> moving on take care of yourselves bye bye